You know, if you want a happy, worthwhile life, which I believe is what God wants for all of us, you have to begin right now to train yourself in what you choose to think and control that. And by control, I mean take dominion, like you're holding the reins on the horse, right? That you will be amazed at what you will learn about yourself. So here is an idea. One week devoted to building a new thought. It could be a turning point for you. And this is what I'm inviting people to do this week. It could really be a turning point for you. Make it important. One week of no dwelling on anything negative. I know this is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult. There will be television stations we avoid. Right? There will be things that we do not pick up to read. Right? You know, so, so, so one week of not dwelling on anything negative. And what I mean by that is sickness, failure, disappointment, trouble, criticism, jealousy, lack, you name it, you name it. What if for one week I didn't participate in any of that? What if I said, I'm going to be high-minded no matter what. In any conversation I'm in, I'm either going to say something good, life-affirming and positive, or I'm not going to say anything for just a week. Just a week is all I'm asking for. If it doesn't work at the end of a week, you can pick up your negativity, right? You, really, absolutely. You can have it back. In fact, you can have it back in double, OK? Isn't that a great deal? Um, but I think, I think we will be amazed. I think if we did one whole week. Now, I know this is. We all have a habit of, of jumping in. You know, there's a lot of water cooler conversations at work that tend to be around things that are negative, things that are, you know, the boss or the office or so-and-so and stuff. And I'm just saying, just for one week, if you don't have anything good to say, what did your mother teach you? Don't say anything, all right?